G'day, thanks for watching. So the weather's uh, turned pretty rough. We've got about 20 knots and lots of big chop. So I want to take the Tandem Island out and see how she performs in this rougher weather. Need to give her a bit of a shakedown, um, make sure that uh, everything's secure, make sure everything's working properly, work on what redundancies I need. So yeah, this is just a, just a trailer out in, in the rough stuff. The Tandem Island is pretty tricky to launch. Strong winds cause it to weather vane, so it's very hard to point it when it's moving slow and tricky just to get out of that shallow water initially until the sail rolls out. Strong winds today, uh, 20 knots from the southeast, and we got low tide and the water around here is very shallow, so I'm expecting some pretty serious chop. See how the boat handles it. This chop is very narrow period and it's quite high, about a metre and a half and it puts a lot of pressure on the boat, just going bang, 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 constantly smashing the boat. The boat accelerates and gets hit by another wave. I've got to keep my eyes open for breaking waves. A swirl like this is okay in these boats, it just slows them down a bit, but uh, if the waves start breaking, they can really ruin your day. These conditions are keeping me busy, it's hard sailing and drinking coffee at the same time. It keeps trying to flood my cup and buck me overboard. It's a bloody roller coaster ride out here. God, these boats are fun. They're primitive, wet and wild, nothing civilized about them. Bugger, just copped a two metre high breaker. Uh, luckily it didn't cause any damage or tip the boat over, boat but just torpedoed through it basically. But yeah, time to call it a day I think. Upwind performance was really poor, probably from all the chop pushing the boat back as I was moving up, so I need to take that into account when I plan trips next time. So I found a few things that I didn't like out in the rough weather. The bungees that hold the outriggers on, the ammers, they're too weak and they bounce around. I reckon they'll destroy themselves in heavy chop like that. We also need a backup for the rudder. If one of the steering lines breaks, which they're prone to do, um, there's no way I'm going to be able to recover the boat out in conditions like that. So I've got to come up with a system for that as well. Otherwise, she handled it really well. If you enjoy this kind of positive adventure content, please like, subscribe, and check out a few of these other adventures.